हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर राव आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथमेटिक्स बाय डॉक्टर एन राव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील विथ टू डिस्कस द हाउ टू फाइंड द क्यू एथ रूट ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर ओके क्यू एथ रूट्स ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर और एन एथ रूट्स ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द बेसिक rules or basic working rules in in two to three steps okay it is very simple to decide the qth rule qth roots of the complex number so what is the first uh, step so first of all in the first step we write x plus iota y we consider x plus iota y is equals to r cos theta and then plus iota sin theta means consider you are given complex number into the polar form okay into the polar form then in the second step for x plus iota y uh, to the qth roots means 1 upon q that is you need to write r cos theta plus iota sin theta to the whole power 1 by q okay 1 by q and you can specify here where okay okay next in the third step we need to write this okay take r to the power 1 upon q outside and write the general term means cos 2k pi plus theta okay because 2k pi 2 pi is the period of the uh, cos theta right and then plus iota sin 2k pi plus theta the same period is for sin theta right 1 to the power q okay and where it is your third step where k runs from 0 1 2 it will go up to q minus 1 if it is your q then it will go up to q minus 1 if it is your n then it, n then it will go up to n minus 1 if it is your 4 then it will it will go up to 4 minus 1 means 3 if it is your 3 mean third root of complex number then it will go up to 0 1 and 2 okay clear so for the different values of k you will get here uh, different roots okay i think you got understood this point now we start the solution and i will start with question find the find the nth roots of the unity find the nth roots of the unity and show that and show that these roots form a geometrical progression a geometrical progression right means gp okay next also also prove that also prove that sum of the roots is zero sum of the roots sum of the roots is zero and product of the roots is and product of the roots and product of the roots is minus 1 to the whole power n minus 1 okay now come on we write the uh, solution and the work methodology is very simple okay so it is asked so it is asked that uh, given or not uh, we need to we need to find the nth roots of unity means we need to solve 
we need to solve x to the power n is equals to 1 okay it will give you the nth roots of the unity this implies that x is equals to 1 to the power 1 by n okay nth roots of unity means unity means 1 okay we need to calculate x equals to 1 to the whole power 1, 1 by n okay means we need to calculate the n roots of this polynomial so how will we decide the n root of this polynomial so first of all in the first step we will write it into the polar form so what about the polar form of 1 so 1 is complex number here or your complex number is 1 here so we, you will write r cos theta and then plus r sin theta right and on comparing you will get the value of r equals to uh, because your complex number is 1 okay is 1 means you can write 1 plus 0 into iota means the value of x is 1 here and the value of y is 0 here so simply r is what x square plus y square right so you will get here uh, 1 square plus 0 square means is equals to 1 so the value of r is 1 what about the value of theta means uh, r sin theta or you can say 10 inverse theta equals to theta will be calculated with 10 inverse y by x right that is 10 inverse the value of y is 0 and the value of x is 1 means 10 inverse 0 which will which will give you 0 okay so one can be written as the value of r is 1 cos 0 plus iota sin 0 okay iota sin 0 it is your first step check it out just convert your given number into the polar form then you need to find the nth roots of the unity right means in in the second step okay so means what uh, cos 0 and then plus iota it is 0 okay and then plus iota sin 0 to the whole power 1 by n okay in that uh, say third step you need to write the general form of this what about the general form of this means 1 to the power 1 by n will be written as cos 2 k pi plus 0 right and then plus iota sine 2k pi plus 0 okay to the whole power 1 by n it is your general term or in short you can write it as uh, cos 2k pi plus iota sine 2k pi to the whole power 1 by n now uh, where you can say where uh, k runs from 0 1 2 it will go up to n minus 1 right so what about next we apply the demovish theorem here so you will say cos 2 k pi by n and then plus iota sine 2 k pi by n okay so it is your it will give the nth roots of the unity for the different values of k equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n minus 1. Okay. So if I say uh, for k equals to 0, you will get x1 root and compute k equals to 0 here. So you will get cos 0 plus iota sin 0. What about the value of cos 0? That is 1. Okay. So your first root is 1. And for k equals to 1, you will, go, you will get the second root, means cos 2 pi by n, and then plus iota sine 2 pi by n, right? And for k equals to 2, you will get the third root here. So you will get cos 4 pi by n, and then plus iota sine 4 pi by n, okay? And similarly, for k equals to 3, you will get x4 means cos 4 pi by n and then plus iota sine 4 pi by n.
okay and it will go up to k equals to n minus 1 means nth roots nth roots will be cos uh, 4 sorry cos 2 n minus 1 pi by n and then plus iota sin 2 times n minus 1 pi by n so these are the nth roots of the unity okay nth roots of the unity okay now come on if we consider if we consider if we consider lambda is equals to cos 2 pi by n plus iota sin 2 pi by n then 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 what about this if it is lambda then it will be lambda square then it will be lambda 3 and so on it will be lambda to the power n minus 1 okay then the roots are then the roots are 1 lambda lambda square dot 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 up to lambda to the power n minus 1 and which is which form obviously which form come on you can write here also okay and which form a geometrical progression okay hence proved okay which form a geometrical progression now sum of the nth roots is zero we need to prove it now now sum of the roots come on sum of the roots we need to prove some of the roots is zero sum of the roots okay that is 1 plus lambda plus lambda square and then plus dot 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 plus lambda to the power n minus 1 okay so which is, which is a geometrical progression up to the n number of terms sum of the geometrical series up to the n number of terms and the formula is for example if i have the geometrical progression like a a plus, plus a r plus a r square and up to the n number of terms it is a r to the power n minus 1 so the sum is a into 1 minus r to the r means common ratio r to the power n upon 1 minus r so the value of a is here 1 1 minus the value of common ratio is lambda lambda to the power n upon 1 minus lambda okay so the sum is 1 minus lambda to the power n upon 1 minus lambda now come on what about the value of lambda to the power n so it is your expression number one now uh, we know we know lambda is equals to cos 2 uh, cos 2 pi by n and then plus iota sin 2 pi by n okay we have considered it here okay cos 2 pi by n plus iota sin 2 pi by n so what about the lambda to the power n lambda to the power n this implies that lambda to the power n equals to cos 2 pi by n and then plus iota sin 2 pi by n to the whole power n right so now apply the demovish theorem you will get cos 2 n pi by n and then plus iota sine 2 n pi by n so n n is cancelled out so you will get cos 2 pi and then plus iota sine 2 pi and the value of cos 2 pi you know it is come on now the value of cos 2 pi the value of cos 2 pi is 1 and then plus iota sin 2 pi is 0 so you will get the value of lambda to the power n is 1 now compute it into the equation number 1 now compute lambda to the power n is equals to 1 in equation 1 in equation 1 and this implies that sum of roots 1 plus lambda plus lambda square plus dot 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 plus lambda to the power n minus 1 
is nothing but 1 minus 1 upon 1 minus lambda that is 0 okay and it was to prove prove the, it was to prove that some of the roots is zero always it is either these are nth roots of unity fourth roots of unity fifth roots of unity or seventh roots of unity or cube roots of unity the sum of all the roots will always be zero okay so come on now the next question asked next it was asked the product of the roots is means 1 minus lambda minus lambda square dot 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 lambda to the power and minus 1 is the product of the roots so you can write it lambda lambda to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n minus 1 and, and it is the sum of the first n natural numbers first n minus 1 uh, natural numbers so you can write here lambda to the power n minus 1 or n by 2 okay and you can write it as lambda to the power n by 2 to the whole power n minus 1. So it is your expression number second. Now we calculate. Now uh, we know what we know. Uh, lambda equals to cos 2 pi by n plus iota sine 2 pi by n. Then what about the lambda to the power n by 2? Means cos 2 by n into n by 2 pi. Okay. And then by the De Moivre's theorem, then plus iota sine 2 by n into n by 2 pi. Okay. So it is cancelled out. So you will get here cos pi plus iota sine pi. And obviously the value of cos pi is minus 1 and the value of iota into sin pi is 0. So you will get here minus 1. So compute the value, compute lambda to the power n by 2 equals to minus 1 in equation second. So when you compute in equation second means product of the roots. So it will give you minus 1 to the power n minus 1 hence proved okay so these were these were very easy questions to solve so guys uh, we will meet in the next video lecture so thank you so much for watching the videos